princesses, today I'm going to be talking about the Lime Crime Carousel Glosses. If you do not like Lime Crime and don't want to support them, that's totally fine with me. You can definitely click away now. You don't need to leave a nasty comment because I'm doing a review on the glosses. I am aware of the scandals surrounding Lime Crime, but I already had a bunch of their products, so I completed my collections and now I'm going to do the reviews. The product description says, Shines like a gloss, pigmented like a lipstick, and loaded to the brim with sparkle vegan and cruelty free. I have all five of the shades and I find them to be very interesting products. I'm currently wearing this combination on my lips which is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Istanbul and the Lime Crime Carousel Gloss in Snowsicle. It looks quite pretty in real life if you're going to get that close to my mouth but I would place a solid bet that you cannot see any sparkle on the camera right now. I may as well be wearing a clear lip gloss. The packaging of course is very beautiful, it comes in a swirled clear container with the purple Lime Crime logo on the top. You can stand these up by themselves and they store really well. I personally do not like the applicator for these glosses. I much prefer the doe foot applicator because it helps me get a good shape on my lip. Holly Graham is a dark green gloss with lighter green shimmer. This is not a colour that I would wear on an everyday basis. This is not even a colour that I would choose for special occasions. But if you like this colour, that's totally cool too. This is definitely the hardest to apply gloss for me. No matter how hard I try, the more I apply, the more streaks I get. It's totally ridiculous how difficult this is to apply. I may as well be a two-year-old with her mum's makeup kit. I think that if I had a green liner, I would have a much easier job at applying this lip gloss. This looks awful, but unfortunately I don't, so this is where we are at. This still looks awful. Present is a really lovely purple berry colour. I really enjoy the colour of this gloss, but this gloss 100% no question asked needs a lip liner. The application that I've just done on my lips looks really awful. It looks like a toddler has tried to do it and it's not a good look at all. While the pigmentation is really beautiful in the product, it is not a full coverage product as such. I would not leave the house without a lip liner underneath this because I know I'm just going to get the most ridiculous looking lips in a couple of seconds. Candy Apple is a deep snow white red. This one has really pretty red glitter in it and it doesn't feel too bad when I rub my lips together. I find that this one definitely needs a lip liner. Because it is so dark, it's hard to get the colour looking even when when you rub your lips together the lip gloss slides around. The more I pack the gloss on to beef up the colour, the more it slides around on my mouth, which is not attractive. This is probably the worst culprit for feathering for me. It's pretty, but it's hard to keep it looking good. Cherry on top is a very pretty pink red. This one has the least amount of glitters and it's probably the one that I like the most. Though I still can feel the glitter when I rub my lips together, it's just so weird. I've never had that on any other glittery lip gloss. I think that this one looks really nice. It covers my lips quite thoroughly and I don't feel like I need a lip liner with this one, but I could definitely use one. It would look a lot nicer. Snowsicle is a clear gloss with holographic shimmers. I find that this is the most unpleasant gloss to use because it has the most glitter in it. The glitter particles seem to be very large and I can feel them when I rub my lips together which is really gross. I can feel them to the point where it actually feels like a lip exfoliator rather than a lip. It's nowhere near as shiny and glossy as it's shown on the website and the glitters are more like silver rather than holographic. If you catch them in the right lighting, they do look a little bit holographic, but in reality, you don't have a bright light shone on your face all the time, so it just looks like silver glitter in a clear gloss. I was really excited to try Snowsicle because it looks like such a unique looking gloss with all of the holographic glitter. 
but when I swatched it I noticed that you cannot really see much of the holographic glitters in real life you can actually see a lot of silver glitter which is quite chunky and even if I look in the bottle I can still see more silver glitter than I can holographic glitter which is not reflected at all on the website picture the picture on the website shows only holographic glitter there is no silver glitter in there at all it's a completely different gloss these lip glosses are quite pigmented but they're not as pigmented as you would expect from a lipstick I find them really hard to apply with the brush applicator. I find it really difficult to get a crisp line on my lips at the best of times, but a doe foot applicator really helps me define my cupid's bow, whereas the brush applicator makes it even harder. The darker shades are beautiful, but they feather so badly on myself and my sister who also has tried these. Even when I use a lip liner, they still feather like ridiculous amounts and I would end up with little bits of bread coming down from my lips and it just looked really, really awful. So for these glosses, I really love the red shades, the two reds and the purples I think are really beautiful shades and that they are quite inexpensive while they're on sale at about 5 US dollars each at the moment. I do not like that they are full price 17 US dollars which I think is extortionate for this product. They feather like nobody's business, it's ridiculous how much they feather. I find them really difficult to apply and I find that the darker shades definitely do need a lip liner because otherwise you need to apply three or four coats of the lip gloss to get a full cover and I find that it makes my lips look and feel like slugs. Snowsicle does not look anything like its photo on the website, it actually looks like a completely different gloss to me and I'm not sure why they included hologram because green really isn't that popular of a colour, like I would have been happier with an orange or a light pink or something like that but then again I'm not that adventurous in my lip colours. I do not really like these glosses that much at all. I definitely don't think that they're worth 17 US dollars each by a long shot. They are really slippery and greasy and they are a little bit gritty as well when you rub your lips together due to all of the glitter in there. I really wish these glosses were as good as they looked on the website because they do look really beautiful on the website but in reality they're a pain in the butt to deal with and they just don't look as good as they could. I probably wouldn't recommend buying these unless you are real keen on Lime Crime because I think that you can find better products somewhere else. I think the shade that I'm most disappointed with at the moment is Snowsicle because it just looks so lovely on the website and in real life it just looks like silver glitter and it may be that the lights is reflecting the holographic glitter better in the photos but in real life it doesn't look like that so it is unrealistic to show us photos of that when it's not going to look like that in real life at all. So I would recommend these glosses to any princesses looking for a pretty good green gloss. Um, I like the red shades to be honest, they are kind of nice but they are hard to deal with. If you're going to wear them for a short period of time, like for videos, I would totally recommend them. If you want to wear them on a, a night out, I definitely wouldn't recommend them because it's going to end up running down your face. Thank you so much for watching this review and I'll see you next time. Bye!